these videos are so scary that they went viral, meaning they terrified countless people from all around the world. Number 11. A student in Ohio says he was partying all day, which is what led to a really bad night that went viral. Police are concerned about his health and want to get him to a hospital, but that's when he lets out a menacingly aggressive laugh I've only heard in the Joker movie. I think the cops made the right decision keeping him away from the public based on that laugh alone. And to prove my point further, the way he looks here at 1 minute and 20 seconds seems like he is capable of doing anything if he wasn't in cuffs. And like the comic book Joker, he doesn't like authority and plots revenge on them out loud. Whether he was just mouthing off or actually going to carry them out is something you'll have to listen to and decide for yourself. He looks much different in court when he is not under the influence, but I will leave it up to the justice system to decide if he was acting out of character that night or truly had this in him all along. Number 10. The adventurer Diffids travels to an abandoned location in the deserts of Saudi Arabia in search of the paranormal. He and a friend hear strange and mysterious bumps coming from other rooms and something just does not feel right at all. They split up and the noises just get worse until he spins around and sees the back of a man who is sitting down. The adventurer Diffids runs down the hall to get his friend and when they come back, the person is gone. He thinks he captured the person on camera again, this time moving incredibly fast as they were leaving. It happens in a split second so I will play it a few times. Look again up close. Is this a spirit like they claim or just their flashlight moving across some dust? I think probably the latter. Also, please translate the text if you can. Number 9. This video from Pakistan of a supposed witch went viral many years ago. The witch cowers with fear, cornered by an angry man and his shovel. The face is scary but is it real? Probably not. The color of its face doesn't match the body and its mouth doesn't really move at all, so I think it's almost definitely a mask. With that said, it does appear to have two impossibly large eyes, but like I said, it could be a part of the mask. I mean, I don't exactly see it blink. Nevertheless, Number 8. Something is really wrong with this person. They look tired and maybe a little sad, but the truth is they can look however you want them to because they're not really a person at all. This robot head is named Greg and it was made for a movie called The World's End. Ten small motors control its eyes and two more work the jaws. Most eerie of all, these little curved bars are made specifically to mimic the fine motor movements of our eyelids. Add a layer of fake flesh and it becomes way too easy to mistake this for a person. I bet you got tricked by the video just like I was. Anyway, humans are still in charge for now, but as AI and animatronics continue to advance, perhaps the day when a robot thinks for itself and passes for human is coming sooner than we want to admit. Number 7. A YouTuber named Shavir Jaffrey caught a ghost encounter that has gone viral with a large number of believers to skeptics. As they approach this haunted estate they see somebody is already in the far right window watching them. And then another mysterious shadow passes in front of the first one. Some people are saying that this could have been a member of the camera crew but it doesn't look that way because they aren't holding anything, just standing there. But then again there are footprints going all the way up to the door so maybe this really was some crew members who got the first. Shavir doesn't seem to think so though and quite frankly neither do I. Number 6. Haley Reese stands at the mouth of a haunted forest at 3 am to ghost hunt with her boyfriend. Their destination is a haunted building from the 1800s that burnt down twice. Many different phantoms lurk here but the most popular one is a girl in a school dress who watches from the forest. After about five minutes of walking they find these extremely small, faint footprints that are in a really weird spread out pattern. Haley Reese says the small footprints look more recent than the other footprints, but I'm not so sure if I agree. 
let me know what you think and how you could tell. Anyway, they do notice the footprints, but at 8 minutes and 42 seconds, they fail to see the eyes in the forest watching them. Just like the legends of the girl in the school dress say. Number 5. A YouTube channel called The Japes Vlogs waits until 3 a.m. to explore this creepy crumbling structure and they aren't disappointed by what they find. Terrified, yes. But not disappointed. A shadow person stands behind them and it does not make a sound, they just sense it. Its limbs are disproportionately long and reach out in long nightmarish strands. To be honest, it looks like it could be a prop because it doesn't move when the light hits. But when it's 3 am and you're in a haunted area, you don't take your chances. You just run. Number 4. Poyagat is a place in India where bodies are put to rest and is said to be inhabited by spirits. Bodies also sometimes wash ashore from the nearby river, no doubt further contributing to sightings of the paranormal. A YouTube channel named Exploring India shows us around the area and, as it nears 3 am, people in the comments section point out a fleeting figure behind them at 9 minutes and 11 seconds. To be fair though, here is a close-up shot of him talking approximately 4 minutes before this sighting and guess what? There's no steam at all. Something's not adding up so who knows what that really was. Number 3. A YouTuber named Wasabi dares to submerge his hand in water overnight for no other reason than to see what it will do to him. He tapes a plastic bag full of water around his wrist and leaves his other hand alone to compare them later. His arm and wrist look 20 years older so you can only imagine what his hands must look like. The back of his hand is only slightly paler but it's the front that grosses Wasabi out big time. He says he left the bag on for 8 full hours and I believe it because the fingers are leathery and dehydrated. But he still has feelings so while it looks bad I don't think any permanent damage has been done. I did some more research to make sure and get this, if Wasabi was to leave that on for a few weeks, his skin would transform into a soapy substance known as grave wax that slides right off the bone. Number 2. A YouTuber named Ninja, not the live streamer, goes through some woods to an old water tower that he wants to see the inside of. Nothing's at the top but some wild birds so he's going back down when he hears someone singing. Also, tell me what's written on the wall if you can. Maybe it's some kind of clue. Ninja suspects this is an evil spirit because it does not stay around for long when he recites some holy words. I really want to know exactly what it is he says here to make it go away. He goes downstairs because that's where the exit is and he takes one last look around before he leaves, only to find the unknown person is where he was moments ago. I'm not sure if this is a quote unquote genie in the form of this person like Ninja claims, but I guess it could be a someone who is followed by spirits, or maybe it's just a skit altogether. number one. So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it then thank you. This way you'll be notified of the new videos I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and Saturday. Number one. With almost 2 million views since September of 2018, this scary video comes from a YouTuber named Hassan Baba, who lives in the country of Jordan. Hassan is exploring a house in ruins when he sees and hears something inside that has him wishing for strength. Inside is a person who does not respond to Hassan at all. Hassan is contemplating what to do next when his flashlight starts turning off, which he says happens by itself, though there's no way to tell. Hassan thinks that this is literally not a human, but I think they could be haunted. 
things get more intense every time he tries to go into the room. This part is the closest they come to having a conversation. I'd like to know what is being said here as he tries to see their face. A person with a blanket over their head isn't exactly enough to convince me it's real but I think they're hiding and don't want any trouble. They've seen too much and refuse to come out of the corner, so Hassan documents the situation and slowly backs away.